All right, guys, this is Dan from Magic Pachinko Restorations with another short video on a vintage pachinko machine. Just want to let you know, I just got back from a fun-filled trip down to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. We go down every March and rent a, a nice home at Ocean Lakes Campground. And my our son's family drives over from Greenville and our daughter's family flies in from Chicago. So um, at any point in time, there's a whole bunch of us. Uh, in that house it's a big house so we've got plenty of room we have a good time down there gives us a month uh, to get away from it get into some better weather kind of clear the cobwebs out and then come back uh, up here to to be uh, all regenerated and ready to go again this is my my new buffalo bills hat I, I bought this one mainly because it says bills mafia on it which i thought was pretty cool uh, so I'm all built. Well, I don't. Ew, that's up, but, but I'm all built up, ready to go. And this is a power flash. This is a um, Nisogen built in 1974, and this is a Thunderbird model. So it's got a much different center attraction here. There's only one tulip in the middle, rather than two tulips like the Chinaman. The Chinaman has a much smaller center attraction without the wings. But the layout of the tulips, except for, uh, again, the Chinaman has another tulip here, but the layout of the tulips on the side and the, the card motif and the functionality is the same uh, between the two machines. So the way these are supposed to work is that if you get a ball in here, it will open all of the tulips, which is kind of cool. But as soon as you put a tulip in either of the yellow queens, it will close the tulips on the corresponding side. Um, another feature is there's a um, micro switch in here that'll open this half and a micro switch in here that'll open this half. Uh, if you get a ball in this particular tulip, internally the ball runs across all four and opens them, same on the other side. But again, if you put it into the yellow, um, it'll close all the tulips. Uh, interestingly enough, the yellow tulips are blocked from getting a ball in them when they are uh, closed. Uh, there's a little spinner up here, and actually there's a, another spinner set up here. So you're limited as to which tulips you can actually get a ball into. The lower two and the outside two uh, would allow a, a ball to go in, but, but these guys with the little spinners on them, you can't get a ball into them when they're, when they're closed. You can when they're open. Uh, only two little spinners up there. The rest of the machine is the same on the front. Now these require some special wiring. Uh, these don't just run off of a 12 volt system. So I'm gonna try to bring this in so you can see it. This is a uh, 24 12 volt um, AC transformer. So when you, the way that this works is when you use a yellow and a blue here, you get 12 volts. And if you use two blues, you get 24. So um, what I can do with this transformer is I can run 24 volts up to, to work the solenoids, but then I can also tap in and get the 12 volts that come up here for the lights. So what you have to do is you have to take one of the blue leads and make it into two. So there's, there's just two, le two leads coming off of the one so that one and the other one give you your 24 and then I've still got another one and the yellow to give me my 12. So that's the way you do that. So the 12 runs up to here. The 24 runs right inside this larger fuse block. And again, it's 24 volt AC it goes up and gets um, through a rectifier board and it comes out of this little plug right here to this plug and it's now 24 volt DC and that 24 volt DC goes in and it powers the, uh, the solenoids that are in there. Now this particular machine has what I call a swing board. This this board right here that holds the guts um, normally on a regular pachinko machine on the other side would be all the nails and the and uh, the attractions this is actually a hinged board right here 
and if you loosen these and that, this board would swing out out of the way. And what you have um, underneath all of this is another um, clear plastic unit that holds the solenoids. And every ball that drops down through, uh, same same deal, ends up going into the seesaw and and uh, just like anything else. But a uh, little more complicated machine. I really like them. I enjoy working on them, uh, tearing them all apart, getting them all nice and clean like we do with all our restorations and um, going from there. So that's what it looks like on the back. Let me load it up and show you how it actually works. This is the ball dump here. Um, this is controlled. This looks like it got bent. Yeah, it did. It got bent. Okay, so this is controlled here from an outside source on the front of the machine, like that. That would release your, your ball release. So you want to make sure that it's shut. Bring it over and get it shut, and that will allow the balls to travel into the jackpot. So let me tip this up just a little. Okay. All right, so as always, I suggest a handful. And they should run all the way down to the jackpot. Now, let me get this plugged in. This plugs right into the wall. Um, line cord provides 120 volts to the transformer, and then it converts it to 24 volts AC. So right now, the ball out light is, is lit. Finally have enough balls in the upper hopper. This lifts off of the micro switch and turns the light off. So. Move that up, keep a few to start to play. Again, you need something that will catch the balls here and here. These are the losing balls. This is the winning ball that comes out there. The other ones go in the front hopper. Swing this around. And yes, I did forget about the Lazy Susan, in case anybody's really paying attention. <laughs> All right. Okay. So when you, when you play this, ideally, what you're shooting for is to go right in there, because again, that will open. Come here, you. Oh, well. That will open all the tulips. Well, not having a heck of a lot of work, uh, luck, so I'll, uh, I'll cheat. Now, I sometimes do put a cheat switch on these uh, to open all the tulips, and I usually mount it right here. This particular um, lower tray didn't have that little uh, colored plastic bubble on it. So I called the owner, and, and we talked, and he just decided not to have a cheat switch put in. Um, he's going to wall mount this and, and didn't want it sticking out anywhere except right here so we just he just decided to, to leave the machine the way it would have been in the parlors without a cheat switch obviously so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to drop a ball in here let me like get this in a little closer there we go okay i got a shadow yeah that's my body okay let me see if i can come around this way and not get a shadow okay all right so this is the main this is the main target you want to aim for so watch the tulips if i can come in from the here, let me do it like this. No, nope, never mind. I'm trying to keep my body out of the way so you can see it, but I guess I'll come in from this direction. So watch the tulips. They all, all spring open, and this is where the jackpot light lights up. 
Um, notice it also uh, opened up the uh, center tulip and that's mechanical. It, it just drops down through and opens that tulip. These tulips were opened by uh, the solenoids that fire when uh, you hit that micro switch. So watch now these four when you get a ball into the queen. It will shut all of these and then if I do the same thing on this side, It will shut all of those. So uh, short of, of going down the center, you can also get it in along the side. It would just trip these. Again, if you get a ball in on the side. Oops, sorry, I'm too low. Up here, it would open those. So Let's play the game now with all the tulips open and see how long I last before I put it into a queen. Probably not long. Yeah, see, first shot went into the queen. And it shut all the tulips. So, the fact that you get all the tulips open doesn't last all that long. It's real easy to get them into the queens when... Uh, when they're open. So that's a power flash. Again, this is a 1974 Nisogen power flash Thunderbird. They also made uh, basically the same machine as a Chinaman. So I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, keep the comments coming. And, and uh, oh, before I forget, oh, never mind. I'll tell you about it next time. Thanks.